Thought of being an animation defect. There's nothing nothing bad, there's not a complication, there's nothing unforeseen in contrast. This is actually something that that, that is an essential part of informed patient consent. I have to say, you know, for the majority of totally reasonably minded individuals, there are absolutely no problem at all. But uh, uh, they can be in selected cases. And, and, and even if you deal with that a lot, you know, they can sometimes be a little bit back, you know, strange, you know, when you, when you are confronted with, with deal with what I'm telling you now. Now, uh, to understand the background of this, let me share two essential views, uh, which I think most surgeons will back with you about a lot of product implants. What we like about this, it's an extremely transforming surgery. That means it's, it's, it's something that, that is a very, very powerful tool, you know, to, to make your patients happy. It can change whole body proportions. It's a very, very powerful tool for body feminization. And now comes the cons, and, and, and I assume everybody with a th- more than three-digit case or per year of butter implants will agree with me that it is sometimes surrounded by a little bit surreal concepts, but it's because it's such a, such a transforming surgery, you always have to be uh, very diligent, and we try our best, and I think everybody does, you know, in, 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 in patient selection for that, but it's, it's, it's because it's so transforming, it often attracts uh, people where surgery may not be the optimum solution and you need a very robust understanding and emotional stability from the patient because uh, otherwise you might uh, things that are normal for the majority perceive as, 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 as a problem. Now, uh, to, to, to wrap up the understanding of product implants, basically on you know, one slide, you've got that here. Anatomy and harmony, the implant fits into the muscle and full stop. So, so this is something where basically muscle and implant interact. Implant can't be bigger than the muscle, and uh, the muscle kind of protects the implant or snugs closely around the implant. So from that point of view, all good. And of course, you know that, that <laughs> I love that video. You know, we got that that, that from one of our patients. Yeah, and you see in this extreme position, uh, which I think I would at my age not even try because I probably will never get up again. But but if you contract your muscle and your implants sit into your muscle, your implants will move with your muscle. Because if, if they wouldn't, your surgeon would probably have a full blown panic attack. Um, uh, so, 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 so they have to do that. Right? This is, this is a, 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 a very normal thing. An implant goes intramuscular, surprise, surprise. If you animate the muscle and contract it, it will move with the muscle. This is, 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 is wanted and a normal thing, and it should be like that. But there's no other way to do it. The second thing, and uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, I have to say to, 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 to the author of this, uh, uh, fortunately, we've got no personal relation to her. This is just uh, something that we found by coincidence, and I think it's, it's fantastic. All right, it's fantastic uh, because you know I, I I love when people can laugh about themselves and and, and, and this this lady uh, who's obviously a reference from Australia, not a patient, but she has actually put this in a comparative shot. So basically, you see on the left picture she is tightening the buttock, and then you see the restricting skin ligaments contracting, and on the right side she doesn't do that. Now, uh, she probably didn't even have uh, implant surgery. I, I, I don't know that, but, uh, but, 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 you know, you sometimes turn into a situation where patients ask you, say, so, oh, look, here my, 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 I see my cellulite when I contract my muscle. But of course, you did see that before, you just probably never checked. And uh, so, so I think for good patient understanding, it's very, very important that people understand you always have in the belt of natural animation effects with or without surgery. And I don't think there's any other surgery where you observe this so much because people love it so much, people get so drawn into that, it becomes so much at the center of their attention that they spend maybe a lot more time in front of the mirror than they did before. And then they will notice effects that have been there before surgery, but they never had a look at. 
So it's very important to advise your patients before the natural animation effects that you have before surgery, you will have after surgery. So uh, while this might all sound very natural and, and, and self-explaining to, to most, uh, uh, I really submit both to patient and surgeon community, it is necessary and helpful, you know, to, to put some special emphasis on these things before surgery and communicating to patients. Simply because it is such a transforming surgery and, and people uh, get so involved with that. So I hope that that this can be helpful for, for future better implant patients.